The Mentoring in Medicine program, Amy, is a program that was started at uh, Memorial Medical Center. Uh, I believe this is our 11th summer. It was intended to provide an opportunity for pre-med students to um, experience what doctors do on a um, weekly basis among a number of different specialties. It's a 10-week program. Uh, the, it is underwritten by a stipend from the hospital, so uh, the pre-med students do earn an income for the summer. We know that's important. But it, it hopefully will allow young people who are strongly considering medicine to confirm that they do want to go into medicine and to begin to sort out what specialties they might be interested in. When I was at Northwestern, where I went to medical school in Chicago, the state of Illinois had a program called the MECO program, Medical Education and Community Orientation. It was basically this program, but you actually went and lived in a small rural hospital while you did this. So I had a room on the pediatric ward at McDonough District Hospital in Macomb, Illinois, but the genesis and the model was the varying rotations every uh, week with different physicians. Um, it, it was very helpful for me. It's actually where I evolved my interest in orthopedics, away from uh, other forms of surgery that I thought I might be interested in. Over the 10 weeks, uh, they spend uh, approximately uh, six to seven weeks on preset rotations, like a week in surgery, uh, a week in family practice. Some weeks are broken up into a half a week of radiology and a uh, half a week of peds. And then we give them uh, two weeks of electives where they can pursue everything ranging from non-traditional medicine to um, uh, administrative medicine. Some of our students have spent time with the administrative staff at the hospital to really kind of pursuing whatever is reasonable that uh, they can put together and we can uh, find mentors who are willing to do it, which is never hard to do. Well, the value to the student, I think, first and foremost, confirms that they want to go into medicine. A lot of people go to college and want to be a doctor, um, but unless you're really around it, you don't really begin to see what we do. And they're only beginning to see what we do. But the other purpose is to maybe start to know whether the operating room is a place that interests you, the intensive care unit is a place that interests you. Maybe I'm more stimulated by the emergency room or an office-based practice to just begin to start to envision themselves in the role as a physician and what they might, might want to do. When they're in the emergency room, they work night shifts. When they're on the trauma service, uh, they can be on call to come in. When I have students with me, if I happen to be on call, um, I usually take their phone number and tell them that, you know, at least one night, if they're available, they, uh, they, ought to, uh, they ought to try to come in and see what it's like in off-hours work because everybody knows our hours aren't all that predictable. I'm always grateful for the willingness of of the medical staff to, um, to um, provide this opportunity. But to be honest, I think most of us would admit we get as much or more out of it than the students do. It's, it's nice to see people uh, who are just in their formative years um, excited about what we do. Not that we're not excited, but it's what we do every day. And sometimes we forget kind of uh, uh, the, the special and neat things we get to do. We, maybe we take it for granted. Maybe it's just what we do day in and day out. But um, having young people who have big wide eyes about what we're doing is, is very stimulating. And you know, none, of the, um, none of the medical staff, of course, is reimbursed for this other than the opportunity to interact with bright young people who are all from the area, which is really important too.
Well, we, the program's only open to residents of Somerset, Cambria, and Bedford counties, um, generally speaking. Uh, the hope is that if we even get 20 to 25 percent of these young people to consider coming back home to work at the hospital that they had their mentoring experience in, that the community wins in a, in a, uh, in a significant fashion. We have our residencies, but these would be people from the community with roots in the community who may go who knows where to do their residencies and then come back to our community. So I'm very unabashed in telling people that's part of the emphasis of the program is to uh, begin the recruiting process very early. It will continue to grow, I believe. Uh, uh, the roots in this area run deep, and I think if people consider coming back and we give them an opportunity to see the quality of work that we're doing, then uh, hopefully they will come back. Well, it's very interesting, and I didn't know this when I started it. This is a, a tremendous boom, boon to them when they apply to medical school. Beyond uh, your undergraduate uh, grade point average, beyond your med medical admission, your MCAT score, the next most important thing is clinical experience, at least on a par with research. And almost to a person, all of our students have said that when they interview in medical school, everybody wants to know about a program like this. What was it? What did you do? Uh, how did it work? And, and to be honest, Amy, we've been contacted by people from w widely um, spread out areas. We, we get calls from people from New York, from Ohio, from Chicago, who read about the program, and, and maybe we just don't make it clear that it has a residential requirement that it does. But uh, I think it's very, very well received, and uh, I think it begins to make people better doctors as they, as they enter into medical school. The other thing I, I do want to add, we do, a big important part of the mentoring program is we do have what we call journal club on Thursday nights, which isn't really a journal club, but we get together as a group and discuss things like healthcare reform, ethics, malpractice, difficult patient encounters in a very um, social environment to just kind of talk about what they've seen during the week that was maybe upsetting to them, what was neat. Um, the experience can be good and bad, but you learn from all of those experiences. So um, we try to make a regular, uh, a regular form out of that so that if people have really upsetting experiences, they can talk to their peers about it, and they can talk about really good experiences. So um, that's a big important part of the program too. Generally, this is a program that's designed for students who are in their junior year going to their senior year. Now that doesn't mean that if you're a graduated senior waiting to hear from medical schools that uh, you wouldn't uh, be eligible. We take students at that level. If we have someone who's a freshman in medical school uh, and they're already in medical school, if they apply to the program for that summer between first and second year, we will take them because they're already in medical school. Uh, we do get applicants in their sophomore years. Uh, generally, we want people to have survived organic chemistry, which tends to be the big weed-out course in college. Uh, if we have taken sophomores who are very, very strong candidates, uh, unfortunately, uh, we often have to say no to sophomores, but we encourage them to apply the next year because, again, the program is really uh, centered on uh, juniors going into their senior year. And if you don't make it as a sophomore, you very well may make it as a junior. It's, it's gotten fairly competitive. This year we had 23 applications for 10 spots. Again, all local students. And uh, we hate to tell people no. We, we tell them they're deferred. And, and we have taken many students, if not one year, then the next. So we try to keep people encouraged and reapplying. It's a great program. We love doing it. And uh, I'm very grateful to the hospital for making it financially feasible. I mean, if this was a volunteer 
opportunity. It would still be a strong opportunity, but all of us who have college-age kids know that they need to make some income to get through the school year. And uh, for almost the entire duration of the program, the hospital has saw f seen fit to underwrite that, and we're very grateful for that.